As the Russian military faces challenges in Ukraine, Putin's domestic problems persist. As Russia's military continues to struggle over two years after invading Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin is confronted with a torrent of domestic issues. At home, Putin, who faces re election in March, is taking a beating for a variety of reasons, including inflation, winter blackouts, and the way his soldiers are treated in Ukraine. Russian air and ground attacks on Ukraine have been persistent as of late. But after a brief spell of success beginning in late December, Moscow has seen declining results, neither side has taken any significant ground over the previous week, according to the British Defense Ministry, which means that Russia and Ukraine are effectively at a standstill since Moscow failed to capitalize on its advances. On Monday, the Institute for the Study of War, a think tank located in the United States, raised the possibility that Putin finds himself in the middle of a clan war. Within the Kremlin, which might impede Russia's decision-making and have an even greater influence on the military's coherence and efficiency due to Russia's poor performance, rumor has it that over the weekend in Moscow, relatives of mobilized Russian servicemen laid flowers at the tomb of the unknown soldier on the Kremlin wall as a protest against the war and soldiers' hardships. Russian political expert Dmitry Orshkin told the Moscow Times that the protest, although not yet posing a serious threat to the government, is being given more attention due to the proximity to the March presidential elections. Neither Putin nor his team has experience in a long and tedious war, according to him. Against this background, the consequences of the protest by the relatives could be unpredictable. On Tuesday, Newsweek emailed Putin's office to request a comment, protesters were joined by thousands of Russians braving the bitter cold that persisted after widespread power outages impacted over 25% of Moscow region residents and the rest of the nation. As they braved temperatures as low as minus 25 degrees Celsius, or minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, some locals allegedly went to Putin personally and requested that he punish those in authority, according to a video published by Anton Geshenko, an expert for Ukrainian domestic issues, on Tuesday on X, previously Twitter, it appears like people living in the Moscow suburb of Kimki are begging Putin for help as they fight to stay warm in the freezing weather, according to Geshenko, who shared the video along with the caption help. SOS, the people of Kimki, a Russian city, are pleading with Putin for assistance after complaining about cold water and heating. Residents of Pervomeskaya, in particular, claim that hot water disappeared in June, and since January 2, they have no heating. On January 11, due to a large-scale communal accident in Kimki, a local state of emergency was introduced, according to him. The heating was turned off in 60 apartment structures. A boiler house catastrophe in Podolsk, Moscow region, had previously prompted comparable actions, in an opinion piece published in the Moscow Times, Andras Tothsifra, a fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, speculates that Russia has neglected much-needed utility repairs because it has diverted all of its resources to the war effort. Even though Putin is expected to stay in power following an election that most people don't think will be very close, home unhappiness about food price. Increases could cause his March victory margin to be smaller than anticipated. Egg prices have recently risen dramatically due to Russia's extremely high inflation rate and Western sanctions. The cost of other food items, such as chicken, bananas, and vegetables, has also put a strain on the budgets of average Russians, though egg prices have been skyrocketing recently, according to an ex post by Geshenko published on Tuesday. Five of the 12 largest egg producers in Russia are managed by state structures and current or former officials. Still, some Russian scholars have cast doubt on the reliability of Russian polls, and a poll published on December 21 by the Levada Center found that 81% of Russians approve of Putin. This is a decrease of 2% from a study conducted a month earlier, though.